Let's talk about roundwood timber framing joinery. Two important components. Number one, greenwood is easy to carve up, but greenwood will shrink a little after it's put in, as much as 3% in length and 7% in girth. Although a lot of experts in working with green timbers say that after decades of working with green wood, they haven't seen any shrinkage that makes any difference, so they don't really think of it. But I just can't get the shrinkage out of my head. Sometimes I use the shrinkage to my advantage, but most of the time I like to prepare for the shrinkage. Number two, round wood is two and a half times stronger than the equivalent in dimensional lumber. With each structure we build, we get better and better at roundwood timber framing, thanks in part to experts viewing this information and experts coming and seeing our projects. To discuss the joinery in this build, please visit permies.com slash berm. To see the even better joinery of the roundwood timber framing project the following year, see permies.com slash berm greenhouse. Where two logs meet a post, we dismissed the butt joint. Where the pins would go into the log, there's so little wood at the edge of the log, the wood could break off. And where the pin goes into the post, it is so close to the edge of the post, the post could splinter. Bermshed 1.0 made ample use of lap joints. A short lap doesn't have a lot of wood to support the spike, and a longer lap would have part of the joint hanging where the log could split. When moving on to Bermshed 2.0, I wanted to do some joinery that might be a bit better. We decided to call this a shoulder joint. An added bonus is that the roof is raised the thickness of the log. This is a saddle joint. We're often tempted to use it, but when we do, we make sure it's a small saddle because the bigger saddle really weakens the wood. This is a square notch joint. Ron calls it a Lincoln log joint. Quick and it holds well. Here is a type of lap joint that bugs me. I'm worried that the log will, in time, split. So we make ample use of a shouldered lap to keep the log from splitting. 